You know, I was in, uh, I was in uh, California over the weekend. You were in California I was out over there. the weekend. And all of our staff was in California. About 80, 80 90 people were in California. And uh, we had a lovely time. We, we go out there every year. And uh, I think this year was one of the, the best little trips that we have taken in the past. And uh, we had a great time. And I'm flying back uh, Sunday or Monday, whenever the hell I came back. And we get, we get over uh, Arizona. Or is it Arizona? <laughs> Arizona. I, I went to school in Indiana, so I pronounce it ah. Arizona. <laughs> and uh, I've seen it, I bet you I've seen it two dozen times. You know what I'm talking about, the Grand Canyon. How yeah. many folks here have seen the Grand Canyon? <laughs> and whenever you look at it, now the pilot was very good about it. He sort of banked it, you know, tilted the plane a little bit so the folks on the left could see it, and then did, did it on the right so the folks on the, on the, on the right could see it. And... Uh, as people recognized the enormity of this and the beauty of this, you, you sort of started to hear the same word. People were describing it as, how would you describe it? Let me see if it holds true with you. It's when you see the Grand Canyon... Breathtaking. There you go. That's exactly the word. <laughs> That's exactly the word. That's I must have heard says. people describe their view of the Grand Canyon as breathtaking yeah. at least eight times. And so I was thinking to myself, I wonder if it would hold up consistently. So here in a second, we're going to call the Grand Canyon, Paul, and we'll, we'll talk to somebody. <laughs> And we'll see if we can't get them. Well, not, we won't even need to prod them or to cajole them. I bet you they offer up the description. Man, does it seem like I'm just talking endlessly here tonight? Well, you've got to set this up. It, it, it certainly <laughs> seems that way to me. All right, Paul, so you know what we need from you? Some dialing music, ladies and gentlemen. Our friend Paul Schaefer now providing the dialing music. We're calling the Grand Canyon. We're going to be calling the... Uh, Desert View Trading Post. See if we can get us some of those desert collar stays. <laughs> uh, it's located on the east end of the canyon. All right, I'm going to begin the dialing procedure now. You know, I did some research over the weekend. Remember when AT&T was the only phone company you had to worry about? Yeah, those were the days. Those were the days. Because in addition to everything else, all this nonsense with the folks at Sprint, yeah, I, I want to be able to send a monthly check to an outfit called Sprint. Doing that right away. Uh, and then what's the other phone company? Is? MCI. M MCI. And well, the problem is now you have to go out and buy your own phone. But so I've done this. I've gone out several times to buy new telephones for uh, my house. Paul, do you know what the number one feature is that people are looking for when they buy a new phone? Uh, you could want to be able to hear the person. No, 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 no. The... <laughs> well, maybe. What is it? All right. All right, you may be right about that. Yeah. The, the, num the number two feature that people, that people <laughs> yeah. want in buying a new phone? I don't know, what is it? Dialability. Dialability. Ah, uh, oh, that's what I look for in a phone, certainly. Dialability. Here we go. We're calling the Grand Canyon in Arizona. What show were you planning on seeing today? Was it Phil Donahue? <laughs> Was it Geraldo? How many of you came in for Regis and Kathy Lee? You're in, in the wrong building and they, they do it live earlier in the day. I'm sorry. But we're, we're happy to have you here anyway. Dialability. Oh, see, I misdialed. Try it again. It's that damn music, Paul. It's driving me nuts. All right, now what's the point? We're going to ask this woman if she... Oh, no, we're not going to ask her anything. Well, we've got to talk to her somehow. What's going on here? I've lost my train of thought. We're calling the Desert View Trading Post somewhere near the Grand Canyon. Boys, nice to have you with us on the program. Have you seen the Grand Canyon in person? What do you think of it? Hi, Hi uh, my name's Dave Letterman. I'm calling from New York City. May I have uh, your permission, ma'am, to put your voice on the air here on our television program? Yeah, she said it's fine. Put her on. What is your name, ma'am? Just a minute, I can't hear. I say, well, see? That's because she said... She said, just a minute, I can't hear. There you go. Ma'am, ma I'd like to take you phone shopping if you ever come to the big city. What is your name, please? My name's Dolores Kendrick, and I'm from Oklahoma. Hey, good for you, Dolores. How long have you lived in Arizona? Uh, I was just here seasonally. 
This uh, is so our third year to work out here at the Grand Canyon. So you go there for the winter, is that what it is? No, we work here at the Grand Canyon. Right, but you said seasonally, so is that in seasonally, the winter? Seasonally, yes, we're out here in the summertime. We go back home in the winter. We love the winter in Oklahoma. Oh, I see, but in, in the, wouldn't it be the other way around? Wouldn't you want to be there in the winter <laughs> when it was warmer, as opposed to there in the summer when well, you couldn't sure, stand? Sure, sure, but you can't afford it. Oh, but you're living in two places half the year? Oh, yeah, uh, we work out here. Well, one year we worked three months. Last year we worked seven months, and we're here for three months again this year. Okay, so it works all uh, quite well for you then. What, uh -huh. what, what, what kind of place is... It's a paid vacation. Yeah. What kind of, uh, <laughs> what kind of a trading post, uh, what kind of place do you have there, Dolores? Oh, it's really neat. It's a gift shop and a little snack bar. Uh -huh. What kind of snacks and do you have? right on the canyon. Uh -huh. what kind can, of... I can look out and see it right now. <laughs> you, you, can, you can see the canyon right now? Oh, sure. Yeah. What kind of snacks do you have at the snack bar? Oh, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, uh -huh. french fries. You know, it's just a fast food type uh -huh. thing. What, what it seems, is the cafeteria. What seems to be the most popular item there at the snack bar? Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers, yeah. <laughs> The foreigners yeah. like cheeseburgers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Dolores, do you know, do you know the most important feature of a cheeseburger to people when they order them? Uh, they'll ask for a cheeseburger without the cheese. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is some kind of joke, isn't it? I'll be darned. Well... I, I wish it was some kind of a joke. <laughs> what is? It's not By much way, of a joke. Have you ever joke. heard of Tahlequah, well, Oklahoma? Do what, ma'am? Have you ever heard of Tahlequah, Oklahoma? Yeah, that's where our home office is. Well, that's right. I didn't know if you knew that or not. Yeah. All right, now, uh, so let's talk about the Grand Canyon. You can actually see it now. Oh, sure. Yeah, uh, I can look out the door right here. It's just gorgeous, and people are just all over the place, mostly foreigners. What? <laughs> <laughs> And, and Dolores, as an American, how does, how does that make you feel? Uh, well, I think we would have to close up if it wasn't for them. Yeah, yeah. The American people do not uh, patronize the national parks like yeah. they should. Yeah, well, I think that's an excellent point. I've been to the Grand Canyon myself, and I found it to be just an unbelievable it sight. Is. It what, really is. What, yes. is. what is the reaction of the first-time viewers when they see the canyon? Uh, they just... Oh, you know, you just, you're just in awe. You, you don't know what to say. Some people cry. Some people just look at it. Uh -huh. what First is, what time is, I ever saw it, tears came in my eyes. What, what is the feeling that comes over you? What is the sense of things? How, how do you react when you see it? What is it? Uh... Oh, it's just, uh, you know, I can't believe people would believe in God, you see, you know, when they did. <laughs> Um, and, and you've seen it many, many times. You see it every day. Every what about day. What, what about at sunset? What what is it's what? Gorgeous sunset. <laughs> does it does it ever does it ever take your breath away? Oh sure, sure. Especially if you're standing right on the edge, about to fall off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 when when you feel your breath being taken from you, what what is that like? What is? Oh. Uh, you really, I can't describe it. It, it, it is so beautiful, and it, any time when it's snowing on it or yeah. the sun shining on it. Uh, yesterday it rained, it hailed, and... Yeah. Uh, I bet that was breathtaking. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> We've been getting down in the uh, real low 40s and yeah. high 30s at night already. Okay. So it, it's just pretty chilly, but uh, all right, it's beautiful today. Okay. We, we have to go, Dolores. I, I, I can't uh, thank you enough for your time and your patience. Well, and said, I, is this a joke? I still want to know. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's not a joke. Uh, you're, well, you're, when you said Tahlequah, Oklahoma, that kind of made me think it might be you. Yeah, no, it is me. And in a minute, we'll do the uh, top ten list from Tahlequah. Uh -huh. you, you, you should call back, okay? Uh, that's a wonderful place up there. I love Lake Tenkiller. Have you ever been up there? <laughs> when, when you look out over Tahlequah, Dolores, and... It's really pretty. It's in the mountains of Oklahoma. <laughs> All right. Dolores, the next time I come to the Grand Canyon, I'm going to look you up there at the uh, Desert View Desert Trading View Post. Desert View Trading Post, yeah. Grand and, Canyon, and, Arizona. And say hello to folks who come in for us, okay? Well, I will. All right, nice this chatting with wonderful. you. wonderful. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Okay, very nice one. Oh. I could have talked to her all night, and I thought for a moment there I was going to. Thought you had. Thought you had. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, we have to do a uh, commercial when we come back. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker will be here, ladies and gentlemen.